Okay, and we are recording. Okay, everybody, welcome uh, to Speak Confident English uh, here at the Foreign Languages Informatics Center at the University of Economics, Da Nang. Uh, we welcome everybody, and uh, we hope that everyone is doing well today, that you are safe, and uh, wherever you are, whether you're in Da Nang or uh, if you are in your hometown. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So let's get started. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up our PowerPoint. Yes, our PowerPoint. Okay. Okay. So you should see the PowerPoint at the top of your screen. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody, to Friday's class for Speak Confident English. It is uh, June 11th. Uh, it is Friday afternoon. Uh, just a quick uh, review. Ah, I see that we are now live uh, on the uh, Flick Facebook page. So I'd like to welcome everybody uh, in the University of Economics Da Nang community. Uh, welcome to the Foreign Languages Informatics Center's online um, Speak Confident English uh, class. We're happy that you can join us. Welcome. Welcome to the class. I hope that everyone is well and safe. Just a quick review, everybody, of our rules. Please turn on your cameras. Yes. And we have two types of participation, individual participation, where I will call on your name, as well as class participation, where everybody participates. Uh, you'll know that I've called on you because I've either I've said your name and I've also clicked a request for you to unmute your mic. So when you see that indication, that means I'm calling on you uh, or if you hear me calling your name. OK, I've noticed that some of you have uh, revised your names uh, to English names. That's great. That does help me. Um, but whether your name is in English or Vietnamese, no problem. Uh, I will call on you. OK. OK, so we know that our two platforms for our online course are WebEx Meetings. That is our online class platform and Google Classroom, which is our communication uh, platform. That's where I send you links for our online meetings as well as assignments. It's where you submit your assignments. Yes, your homework assignments. And it's a way it's a very efficient way for us to communicate. OK, so we're going to continue our work today. We're going to continue our work. Um, and as you know, our format is two parts, two parts in this course. Um, part one is pronunciation. Yes, we spend a good part of class working in a focused way on pronunciation. And then the second part is a topic, is a topic. And on Wednesday, we opened up the topic of free time. Yes, and we reviewed five activities, common activities for free time. We'll continue to uh, pursue that uh, today. But let's go ahead and get into um, let's go ahead and, and get into um, uh, our uh, pronunciation. I'm going to go ahead and um, reshare the uh, PowerPoint, making sure that I've optimized the video so that we can have uh, audio. But let's go ahead and do a warm up. We did this last time. Yes, we did some tongue twisters, some tongue twisters as a warm up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. You'll participate as a class, as a class. So after me, please. Purple paper people. Again. Okay, one more time. Purple, paper, people. Purple, paper, people. Purple, paper, people. Okay, good job. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Brown butter, purple jelly, white bread. Brown butter, purple jelly, white bread. 
Again. Okay. Good job. Good job. Here's a fun one. Green frogs glad fighting. Green frogs glad fighting. Green frogs glad fighting. Okay. And our final one today. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. How much wood How much wood would chuck chuck wood chuck? Chuck could chuck wood. Okay, good job, everybody. Good job with our warm up. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, would you like to do it? Okay, thank you, Miss May. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, everybody. So let's move in to our uh, International Phonetic Alphabet, also known as the IPA. Yes. On Wednesday, we spent a lot of time working on vowels. Today, we're going to focus on diphthongs. We're going to focus on diphthongs. Uh, diphthongs, yes are two vowel sounds in one syllable. Two vowel sounds in one syllable. Yes, there are eight diphthong sounds. Eight diphthong sounds. So let's go ahead and listen to what they sound like. How do they sound? We're gonna start with a video from Miss Emma. You might remember her from Wednesday. And then we'll go into another video which goes into more depth of diphthongs. Here we go. There's another group of vowel sounds called diphthongs. Now, don't worry about remembering that crazy. Okay, looks like we had a, a uh, uh, no sound with that. Let's go ahead and put it up again. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay. There's another group of vowel sounds called diphthongs. Now, don't worry about remembering that crazy name. All you need to do is remember the sounds. Diphthongs are sounds that change from one vowel sound to another, but in the same syllable. So watch my mouth position change as I make each of these sounds. Ear. Ear. Air. Air. Ur. Ur. Ow. Ow. O. O. A. A. I. I. Oi. Oi. Okay, good job, everybody. Let's go to the next video, and we're going to listen to Mr. Colin go into more specific examples of diphthongs. Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at the diphthong sounds. I'm Colin Monroe, and this is the English Language Club. Diphthongs are the sounds represented by the symbols in red. There are eight of them on the phonetic chart, and these are the main ones you need to know about. So, what is a diphthong? Well, a diphthong is a type of vowel sound that is made up of a combination of two single vowel sounds, but within the same syllable. Each column is arranged according to the second sound in the diphthong. In the first column, each sound ends with a uh sound. Ear, ua, ua. 
and air. Air. In the second column, each sound ends with a E sound. A, oi, and I. And in the third column, each sound ends with a U sound. O and ow. Remember that the key to pronunciation is physical and that diphthongs are a combination of two sounds. So your mouth will change position as you say the sound. Let's look at the monothongs again so you can see what I mean. First of all, let's look at ear. This is a combination of i and a, uh, but it's pronounced within one syllable, ear. The main physical difference between the sounds on the top row and the sounds on the second row is that your mouth should be a little more open for the second row sounds. So as you say ear, your mouth should open a little bit, starting on the i and finishing on the u, uh, ear. As in the words year, year, here, 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 and really. Really. Let's look at the next one. This is a combination of u and a. Uh. Uh. Again, your mouth should open a little as you go from the first sound to the second sound, starting on the u uh and finishing on the u. Uh. Uh. As in the words hour, power, and during. Now we have a combination of e and a. Air. This time both the vowels are on the same row, so the mouth doesn't open or close. The main difference is the shape of our lips and the origin of our sound in our throat, starting on the e and finishing on the u, air. As in the words there, where, and parent. Moving on to the second column, now each sound ends with the vowel sound i or e because sometimes it is the longer E sound. In reality, it's kind of somewhere in between the two. It just depends on the word. When we say the diphthong sounds in isolation, we normally use the longer form. A, oi, and I. The first sound is A, which is a combination of E and I, or E. This time we need to close our mouths a little as we say the sound, starting on the e and finishing on the i or e, a. A. As in the words they, they, say, say, and make. Make. The next sound is oi. This is a combination of o and i or e. They're on different rows again, but the shape of our lips and the position of our tongue also change a lot because we're going from the right all the way to the left, going from rounded lips to unrounded. Starting on the O and finishing on the I or E, OI. OI. As in the words point, point. boy, boy, and oil. oil. The next sound is I, which is a combination of R and I or E. Now we're going from the bottom row to the top. So our mouth start wide open and closes as we say the sound. I. I. Starting on the R and finishing on the E. I. I. As in the words I. Hi. Bye. Bye. And time. Time. 
The next sound is O. Oh. Oh. This is a combination of U uh and U uh or U. Uh. The main difference here is the shape of the lips, rounding a little as we say the sound. O. Oh. Starting on the U uh and finishing on the U uh or U. Uh. O. Oh. O. Oh. As in the words go. Go. No. No. And only. Only. The next sound is ow. This is a combination of a uh and u uh or u. Uh. Now our mouth is closing and the shape of the lips is changing at the same time, rounding a little as we say the sound. Ow. Ow. Starting on the a uh and finishing on the u uh or u. Uh. Ow. Ow. As in the words out. Oh. How? How? And down. Down. So, that's all the diphthong sounds. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments... Okay. Okay, everybody. So, let's go ahead now, and we're going to practice. We're going to practice. So, I'd like to um, go ahead and um, uh, start with... Let's see, um, how about um, Miss Jessica? Hello, Miss Jessica? Yes, hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, so yes. let's work on the first diphthong, yeah. Yeah. Year. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Really. Really. Okay, very good. Everybody as a class, year. Year. Yeah. 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 Really. 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 Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's go now to the next now. Okay. One second here. Well, let's go ahead and um. Ah. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and have a Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, oh. teacher. Hello. So let's work on this one together, shall we? Oh. Our. 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 Power. 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 During. During. Very good. Everybody together. Ow. Okay. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Okay, let's go now to uh Ju let me see, hold on. Where is uh Miss Leah, hello, Leah. Hello, teacher. Okay, so let's do this sound here. Let's do this sound here. Air. Yeah. There. There. Where. Where. Parent. Parent. Okay, very good. Everybody, air. Yeah. 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 Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where? Parent. 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 Okay. Good job. Good job, everybody. Uh, let's go to Miss Hang. Hello, Miss Hang. Gwinty Hang. Hello. Are you there, Miss Thang? Miss yeah. Hang. Yes. Hello. Hello, honey. Hello. Okay. I'm here. I'm here. Very good. Hey. Yeah. Hey. They. They. Say. Say. Make. Make. Okay. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. Let's. Con 
yes, let's continue now. Let's continue. And uh, we will go to Sophie. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Sophie. Where did Sophie go? Okay, hello. How are you? Good. I'm fine, thanks. Very good. Oi. Oi. Point. Point. Boy. Boy. Oil. Oil. Uh, very good. Very good. Thank you, Sophie. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue now. Let's continue. And we'll go to Jenna. Hello, Jenna. Hello. Hello, Jenna. I. I. Bye. I. Time. Time. Okay, good job, Jenna. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, we're doing great today. Let's go to our next diphthong, our next diphthong. And uh, let's see here. Uh, we will go to Selena. Hello, Selena. Hello, Selena. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Okay, so, oh. Oh. Go. Go. No. No. Only. Only. Okay, very good. Thank you, Selena. Okay, and then finally, we'll finish with um, Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. This is the ow, ow. Ow. Out. Out. How? House. How? How? Down. Down. Okay, thank you very much, Vivian. Okay, and uh, thank you. So I think that uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, go through the last few ones. I think I got ahead of myself. We'll do these as a class, as a class, okay? A, everybody. A, a they, 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 say, they, they. I. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead now. And I just wanted to let you know that I uh, watched your uh, speaking homework, your videos that you submitted. Uh, and I just wanted to tell you I really enjoyed watching them. Uh, you all worked really hard on the assignment, yes. And uh, up until noon today, I was able to work on it. I sent you all notes. If you haven't gotten a note from me, I'll send you one later on. Uh, today, but um, I did send you individual notes about your speaking homework. So I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your work. I enjoyed listening to your stories. Yes. And you all were very committed. So it was a great process. And I think that the more comfortable that you get dealing with the camera, dealing with presenting via video, connecting with eye contact, using body language, meaning using your hands, being open and smiling is very good practice because we are in a complicated time. Because of COVID, yes, there are going to be times both academically 
And then in the future, when you are in professional business settings, where you'll be interviewing perhaps for a job, where you'll be doing it via Zoom or WebEx meetings, yes, via video online. So this is really good practice for you, getting comfortable looking into the camera and imagining that there are people on the other side. Yes, so in my notes to you, in my notes to you, I mentioned things like eye contact, body language, hand gestures, uh, confidence, yes, and I just wanna encourage you all to continue to practice, but that's what I mean with my notes, is helping you to be really comfortable talking in front of the camera, speaking English in front of the camera. You also um, see that I have uh, mentioned some of my notes include soft endings. And in future classes, we'll spend a lot of time talking about soft endings. Yes, the R sound at the end of words. Uh, yes, the ED sound. Yes, visited, worked, closed. Yes, in the middle. And then the pronunciation of S at the end of words. But this is what I mean when I'm talking about soft endings. So as part of your homework, you can take a look at this particular slide because I'll put the PDF on the Google Classroom and we will spend more time in the future. But this is what I mean. This is what I mean when I'm talking about soft endings. OK, OK, so let's go ahead and uh, one more note. And that is that most of you have really have good intonation. Intonation are the rises and the falls in English. Just like in Vietnamese, English goes up and down. Yes. And a few of you were flat and I gave you notes, but most of you had some intonation. But I just wanted you to know what I mean when I'm talking about intonation. So let's watch this quick video about intonation. OK. Okay, let me go ahead and bring this back up so that we make sh we make sure. Okay, okay, so that we can make sure that um, that we have uh, uh, that we have uh, audio. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this video. This is about intonation. Okay, and we'll also spend more time on intonation in the future. <laughs> everyone, welcome to ElementalEnglish.com. Today's podcast is an introduction to intonation, an English pronunciation lesson. Speaking and understanding English doesn't just come from using correct grammar and vocabulary. Native English speakers convey meaning in their sentences with pitch. The ups and the downs and the musical notes of their sentences. For example, the following two sentences contain the same words, but is there a difference in meanings? Number one, she got a dog. Number two, she got a dog? In these two simple sentences, the focus word of the sentence, the word that gets the most emphasis, is dog. But what happened with the sound of the focus word? In sentence one, the intonation went down to indicate the completion of the thought. She got a dog. In sentence two, the intonation went way up to indicate surprise. She got a dog? The patterns of ups and downs of your voice and your pitch on and after the focus word, which is usually at the end of a sentence or question, is called intonation. In English, there are three intonation patterns. A rise, a full fall, and a partial fall. Listen and repeat the following examples of intonation patterns. The focus word is underlined in each sentence. I got a dog. I got a dog. I got a dog. I got a dog. How are you? How are you? How are you? Your dog speaks English? Your dog speaks English?
Your dog speaks English? Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. I want a dog, but... I want a dog, but... I want a dog, but... So remember, speaking English isn't just about correct grammar and vocabulary. You must change your pitch, the ups and the downs, and the musical notes of your voice to convey proper meaning, emotion, and expression. As always, post your questions and comments below, and if this lesson was helpful to you, feel free to share it with friends and family on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so that's our video today on uh, intonation. We will work more on intonation in the future, uh, just like we will work more on soft, um, we, uh, just like we will work more on soft endings uh, in the future. But I just wanted you to be aware when in your notes, in the notes that I send you for your speaking homework assignments, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So just a reminder, everybody, uh, when I call on you, uh, please turn on your microphone. Uh, so that we all can hear you. Yes, when I call on you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move into part two of our class, which is our topic. And our topic this week has been free time activities. And I just wanted to uh, compliment you, yes, on your homeworks. You also you shared with me some very memorable stories. And that is really so important as you're becoming more comfortable with your English and as you raise your proficiency is that you're able to tell stories about your life in a way that's personal, that personalizes it. It's good for conversational English. It's good when you're taking the IELTS or the TOEIC or any speaking uh, exams, being able to personalize it, making it memorable so that the examiner, yes, if you're taking a test or Yes, or someone that you're meeting in a professional setting will remember you, will remember you. Okay, so um, on, um, uh, on Wednesday, we were able, oh, by the way, just a reminder to always check your vocabulary. You can check your vocabulary uh, in two ways. Uh, one is using Google. Yes, putting in keywords, and the other is the Oxford Learner's Dictionary. So I just, we want to, you know, encourage you to constantly be looking up vocabulary. You can also be checking out how to pronounce words using the IPA, putting that into uh, Google uh, uh, as well. Okay, so our uh, vocabulary from Wednesday. From Wednesday, we had five activities, five activities. So let's go ahead and... Um, uh, review them real quickly. Uh, everybody, go to the cinema. Go to the go cinema. To the cinema. Go to the movie. Go to the movie. Okay, very good. I heard some other stories in your homework, uh, in your speaking assignment about people who enjoy going to movies, uh, and you shared with me um, about which kinds of movies you like to go to. Watch TV. Watch TV. Very good. I heard some good stories about TV shows that you like to watch. Spend time with family. Spend time with family. Okay. Most of you shared um, some stories about your family and how important your families are to you, uh, especially during this time of COVID. Um, so I thank you so much for sharing those wonderful stories. Go out with friends. Go out with friends. Okay, so some of you shared stories of going out for coffee with your friends, uh, going to restaurants, uh, and also some of you shared how much you miss, miss your friends because of the uh, recent shutdown uh, due to COVID. 
Okay, and finally, surf the internet. Surf, surf the, the internet. internet. Okay, surf the internet. So some of you shared um, the types of uh, websites that you'd like to visit. Some of you shared your favorite apps, yes? And how much uh, surfing the internet helps you uh, in personal as well as academic situations. Okay, so let's continue now. We're going to, um, we're going to move to our new vocabulary for today, yes? And uh, you can turn off your microphones, everybody. Turn off your microphones. So I'm hearing feedback. Everybody, turn off your microphone. Fiona, I think maybe we're getting feedback from you. Can you yeah. Turn, can you turn I'm off here. your microphone, Fiona? Okay, why don't you turn off your yeah, microphone? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, turn off the microphone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Since I'm hearing feedback. Right. Right. Yeah. So turn off your yeah. microphone. Turn off your microphone. Oh, thank you. Or okay, very good. Good job. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I know it's a little complicated. We're all getting used to this. You're doing great, everybody. Okay, so let's continue now. Let's continue. I'd like to call on Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Where's Jasmine? Hello, teacher. Okay, there you are. Very good. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, Jasmine. Uh, we're going to talk about writing, yes? So let's go ahead. Okay, so can you go ahead, please, and read this for us? Write. Yes. Write. Mm -hmm. Many people like to write in their diary. Another name for a diary is a journal. You can also write many other things, such as poetry, novel, letters, and short stories. Okay, very good, very good. And um, so what, what is the benefit of writing a journal, Jasmine? What is the benefit? Um, yes, um, I think journal helped me organize and analyze my thoughts. And it also helped me dig to, dig, dig to discover what my true emotion, feeling, and thoughts are. It's just something that um, a form of therapy Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, so that is definitely uh, a uh, popular free time activity is writing. In addition to journals, we can write poetry, write letters, novels, or short stories. And of course, for university, yes, you are writing. You're writing assignments in both Vietnamese and if you're taking a class that's in English as well. Okay, thank you so much, Jasmine. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. And I'm going to ask Julia. Hello, Julia. Uh, hello, teachers. Hello. Okay, so um, uh, let's go ahead. And can you tell us about go to the park? Uh, go to the park. You can go to the park alone with families or with friends. You can take a picnic rush and a picnic packet and have a picnic. You can read, sleep, get a football around, climb trees, or place on the children's place ground. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for reading, uh, Julia. Uh, Julia, do you like going to the park? Uh, yes. Is there a park in Da Nang that you like to go to? Uh, yes, we have a park. Uh, it's called uh, 29 Tháng Ba Park. Uh -huh. And has the park reopened now that restrictions have lifted? Is that park now open? Uh, I don't know, but, oh. but I think that is open again. Yeah. So maybe this weekend you might be going to the park, yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for reading, Julia. Okay. Let's move on now. But before we do, um, everybody turn on your microphones and say, go to the park. Go to, to the, the park. park. Okay, very good. Everybody, right. Right, right. Okay, very good. And we know with the word, okay, you can turn off your microphones, turn off your mics. <laughs> okay, we know with right, the W is silent. It's just right. Okay, very good. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. And I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask um, Ms. Trin. 
Ain Trin, hello. Ain Trin, I sent you a request. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Let's go ahead. Uh, then, yep. Go to cultural location and event. Very go good. to cultural and location and events. There are many types of cultural location and events. You can go to the museum, to the art uh, gallery, or go to the zoo to see animals from around the world. You can go to con concerts, plays, music, music, musicals, dance recitals, and opera performance. Okay, thank you so much uh, for reading, Ms. Tren. Uh, so I'm curious, have you ever gone to any museums, either in Da Nang or Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi? Can you speak again? Sure. Have you ever been to any museums here in Da Nang or in other cities? Oh, yes. Uh, I was go to the uh, Ho Chi Minh Museum at Hanoi City. Ah, oh, very good, very good. I've been to, to the Contemporary Museum of Art uh, in Ho Chi Minh City. I yes. like I like it very, very much. Yes. Okay, the description also talks about zoos. There's a wonderful zoo in Saigon as well. Um, and, um, and so um, I think that perhaps we all look forward to the day when there can be concerts, yes, outdoor concerts, um, as restrictions lift, eventually, uh, hopefully, we can uh, have some outdoor concerts again. Okay, everybody, so please go ahead and turn on your mics. Go to cultural location and events. Go to cultural location and events. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. okay thank you so much, Ms. Tren. I appreciate it. I you turn off your mics. Thank you. Okay, ah, oh, <laughs> this is a favorite, isn't it? Go shopping. Everybody, go shopping. Go shopping. Who likes shopping? Go shopping. Who likes to shop? No? Who likes to shop? I have to, to say, uh, about two weeks ago, I was kind of bored, so I went to the Vincom to do some window shopping. And of course, I had my mask, yes, but it was very quiet. But I walked around and I looked in the windows and, uh, you know, I was thinking, I hope I look forward to the day that there are more people, that there are more people. Uh, okay, let's go to Helen. Hello, Helen. I'm sorry, I turned off your mic. Helen? Hello, teacher. Are you there, Helen? Yeah, hello, teacher. Hello, Helen, how you doing? Yeah. There you are. Okay, there you are. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so can you read for us go shopping? Okay. Go shopping. Many people like to go shopping malls, go areas of the city that are known for shopping to buy clothes or items for their house and gardens. Okay, very good. Very good. So when you go shopping, Helen, where do you like to go? Yeah, I go shop in some small shop on the Lazen Street, street with my friend. Okay, very good, very good. And do you ever shop online? Do you ever shop online? Uh, I rarely shop online because, you know, I don't believe on shop online. <laughs> so, I, yeah. And, and why is that, Helen? Why don't you believe to shop online? Do you <laughs> um, Uh, because you know, all I um, I think shop in the um, local that you can um, know that the the the, the clothes is um, good or not. Because right. shop yes. online. Yes, you can touch them. You can touch the clothes when you go to the market. Yes. So how? Yeah. When you go shopping, do you like to go to the market or do you like to go to the big mall? Um, I like to go to the market. Okay. Yeah. And, and why do you prefer the market to the mall? 
Um, I think in the market, um, I don't know why, yeah, because I live near the market, so I like to go to the market rather than go to the mall. Okay, very good. It's always great yeah. to support local businesses. It's great to support local businesses. Okay, thank you so much, Helen. Thank you for participating. Just a reminder, everybody, that we're going through this vocabulary to talk about details, details related to these free time activities. And when you do your uh, speaking assignment, when you do your speaking assignment, then you'll be telling us a story using details and sharing your own experience, sharing your own experience. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's continue. Okay, everybody turn on your mics. Cook. 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 Okay. Who likes to cook? Who likes to cook? <laughs> Do we have any cooks in the house? Yes? Yes? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You can uh, turn off your mics. Uh, let's go ahead and go to, let's go to Amy. Hello, Amy. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hi, can you can you read this for us, please? Yes, cook. Many people like to cook different type of food. You can make meal up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can bake cake, cookie, slice, and pastry in the oven. Some people process that they have a special with pie add them to cook it for, for you okay amy thank you so much for reading let's work on a few words recipe 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 okay so recipe is basically has all of the information for cooking a dish now, Amy, something that we're going to work on is you have a lot of soft endings. Yes, a lot of your S's got lost. Yes, so let's work on this. Types. 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 Cakes. Cakes. Okay, so those two S's are the S sound. Cookies. 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 Okay, in that case, the S sounds like a Z. The S sounds like a Z. Slices. 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 And pastries. And pastries. Pastries. Pastry. Okay, so you had the reading with lots of S's at the end, okay? So, but it's something that we all have to be aware of is the soft endings, but you did really good in the practice. So thank you, Amy, thank you so much. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious, Amy, uh, what's your favorite dish to cook? What, what's your favorite dish to cook? Amy? Yeah, what's your favorite dish to cook? Mm, I, I, I don't like cook. You don't like cooking. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you like eating? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite international dish? Uh, a, a favorite international dish? Like hamburgers or pizza? Yes. You can do it. Okay, very good, very good. And what's your favorite Vietnamese dish? Your favorite Vietnamese dish? Mm, I like, uh, mm, you know, ban xào. Ban xào, me too. I love ban xào. No, I, I love Vietnamese food. I'm so lucky. I, I just love Vietnamese uh, food. Okay, thank you, Amy. Thank you very much. Yes, thanks. Okay. So let's continue, everybody. Okay. Okay, so this is something that's very important. Study something. 
Everybody. Study something. Study something. Study something. Study something. Study something. Okay, very good. Very, very good. So let's go now to Fiona. Go, Fiona. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Fiona, can you read to us about study something? Okay, okay. Study something. There are many things you can study just because you find interesting. You can study a language, you can learn skills such as cooking or making furniture, or you can study the hieroglyphs of ancient and Egyptians if you want to. Okay, Fiona, good job. There's a couple of big words in there, a couple of big words. Hieroglyphs. Can you say hieroglyphs? Hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. Very good, very good. Very good. Very Egyptians. Good. Egyptians. 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 Oh, very good, Fiona. Very good. So, you know, hieroglyphs, everybody. You can turn off your mic. You can turn off your mic, Fiona. Okay. So, hieroglyphs uh, are old drawings uh, from many thousands of years ago. But actually, Fiona, turn on your mic again. Turn on your mic, Fiona. Yeah. So, Fiona. What are, your, what are your thoughts about studying? What do you think about it? Do you like it? Not like it? How do you feel about it? Teacher, I'm wearing a I'm wearing the dishes. It's ready. I love studying now. Look at me. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Wow. So yeah, I'm showing my passion now for studying teacher. <laughs> Well, that is, that is, I mean, you're wearing your passion. You're wearing your passion. Yes. And how great yeah. that you're wearing that t-shirt where you uh, read uh, the description. Uh, so, Fiona, it's great. You have a passion yeah. and a commitment to studying. Yes. And there is so much that we get out of studying. Studying is such an important part uh, of our lives and uh, an important part of your academic life. And the reality is that we are all lifelong learners. So even after university, uh, we will continue to study and to learn and to grow. So thank you so much, Fiona. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Arts and crafts. Again? Art and crafts. Arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. Okay, arts and crafts. Very good. Let's go ahead and ask B. Hello, B. Hello, B. Hi. Can you read for us, B? Yes. Arts and crafts. But there are many arts and crafts that you can learn. grow, sell, and make. Okay, thank you so much for reading, B. Um, and um, do we have anybody in class who likes arts and crafts? Do we have anybody who likes to draw or paint or sculpt or make jewelry? Anybody in the class like to do that? Oops, I see a hand go up. I saw uh, Miss Trin, your hand went up. Yes. So, Ms. Trin, what, what do you like? What kind of arts and crafts do you like to make? Ms. Trin? Uh, I love draw and painting. Ah, very um, good, very good. And yes. what, is, what is your favorite color to draw? What is your favorite color to draw? Uh, my favorite color is uh, yellow. Ah, that's a wonderful color. Uh, yes, because I feel it's very energetic. Ah, yes, it is. It is a very energetic color. It's a very, well, thank you. Anyone else in the class like to do arts and crafts? Anybody? No. No? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and continue our work, everybody. Hold on. We'll go to our next one. This is gardening. Can you say gardening? Gardening. 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 Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to um, have, let's see, um, uh, let's see. 
Okay, hold on. Uh, how about Leah? Hello, Leah. Can you read for us? Leah? Yes, I'm here. Okay. I have to say, Leah, I've enjoyed it, watching your younger sister uh, who has tried to get into the video. <laughs> yes. So cute. So cute. <laughs> okay, Leah. So can you read about gardening, please? Okay. Gardening, you can blend flowers red tables our house and maintain your garden by quartering, quarter, quartering it, pulling the waste and feed, feeding it with fertilizer. Okay, very good, very good. Let's work on a few of the words. Weeds. Weeds. Okay, vegetables. Uh, vegetables. Vegetables. Herbs. Herbs. Okay, very good, very good. So I'm wondering, Leah, do you do any gardening? Is that something that you do? Uh, I usually uh, plant vegetables. Say again? Do you do any gardening at home by chance? I really like I really like plant at home. Plant, planting at home. Okay. Do we have anybody yeah. else who likes to plant? Any gardeners in the class? I'm looking for hands. Does anyone like to garden? Do we have anyone? We would say that if you like to garden, yes. If you like to garden, we would say that you have what's known as a as a green thumb, a green thumb, okay? Yes, so I'm putting that up on the screen. Can you see that everybody? So that is known as an idiom. Can you say green thumb? Green thumb, green thumb. Green thumb. Green thumb. Green thumb. Okay, so that is called an idiom, and you're probably aware that an idiom, yes, is an expression, is an expression. And in future classes, we're going to spend time on idioms. But if you like gardening, you would say, oh, you have a green thumb. Your thumb is not green, but it is just an expression. It is just an expression. Okay, everybody, let's do our final vocabulary today, our final vocabulary. Um, and I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, let's see, uh, Jenna, 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 hello, Jenna. Hello. Hi, Jenna. Can you read Hi. about exercise and sport for us? Exercise and sport. To stay fit and healthy, you can do exercise alone, such as swimming, working out at a gym, or can you play a team sport, such as football or basketball, or you can do yoga at the beach. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Jenna. Let's work on a couple of the words. Exercise. Exercise. Swimming. Swimming. Football. Football. Basketball. Basketball. Yoga. Yoga. Okay. So, do we have any uh, yoga? Any anybody in the class that likes to do yoga? Any yoga? Who likes to do yoga? Yes, I love yoga. You do. Okay. And how often do you do yoga? Well, uh, I take up uh, soga when uh, uh, two times a day mm -hmm. in the early morning and in the evening. Okay. Like when after uh, online study now and then we 
I can have a door. Uh, very good. Uh, the picture shows people here in Da Nang doing yoga at the beach. Do you do yoga at the beach? No, I I am a starter and I <laughs> I don't have any uh, skill and uh, specialize in yoga, so I can't express that. Okay, so you do yoga quietly and privately, yes? Yes. <laughs> okay, great, Jenna. Thank you. So everybody, this is our final vocabulary. Turn on your mics. Exercise and sport. Exercise and sport. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, so everybody, we did a lot of great work today. We did a lot of great work. Uh, I will go ahead and send you your speaking homework. We got through all of our vocabulary today, so you have plenty of activities uh, to choose from. You have plenty of um, you have plenty of um, uh, uh, activities uh, to choose from for your speaking homework. I will put it on Google Classroom. Just a reminder. Yes, if you're not aware that we offer English coaching at the Foreign Languages Informatics Center, Flick. Uh, it's online, yes, and it's available to you. Uh, and I've got on the screen the, my various availability. So if you would like to arrange an online coaching with me, uh, I would love to work with you individually. We can work on pronunciation, introducing yourself, um, uh, as well as other aspects to improve your proficiency depending on what your goals are. So I just wanted to remind you, you can uh, go ahead and go to the uh, Flick uh, page on Facebook uh, to get more information on this and to make the arrangement. But I would love to work with you uh, individually. They're 20 minutes, 20 minutes, but usually we spend about 30 minutes together. And we do it online, we do it via uh, WebEx meetings, and I send you uh, a recording of our session so that you can study it. Uh, so it's another, um, it's another uh, service that we provide at Flick, and I would love to work with all of you. I had a wonderful session uh, this morning um, with Jasmine, and, uh, and we have a number, I have a, a number more uh, scheduled. And also, it can be over a four to six week period. So we would meet, say, um, every week on uh, Friday at nine o'clock over the next four, five, or six weeks. So we would have a track record and we would be able to build your skill sets. Okay, so everybody, today we did a warm up, yes? And we worked on a diphthongs. We worked on a diphthongs. Next week, we will start on consonants for our, uh, for our pronunciation, yes? And then we did our um, activities. We continued with free time activities. Next week, we're going to be working on careers, careers and jobs. What would you like to do after graduation? What is most interesting uh, to you? So uh, I will send you a video of this lesson. Uh, it's been wonderful to spend this Friday afternoon with you, everybody. I uh, hope that you stay safe. Yes, continue to mask up, wash your hands, social distance, and no large crowds, okay? 5K, 5K. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I look forward uh, to seeing you uh, next Wednesday, next Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock for our next session. Okay, everybody, take care. Thank you, and bye-bye. 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 Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.